Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having issues with your LAN or network discovery not working properly on your Windows device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process in getting you guys back up and running. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up the Star menu, type in Services, Best match to come back with services, go ahead and just left click on that. So the first service you want to look for is the DNS client. So scroll down a little bit here. Go ahead and double click on that. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. If it's not, change it to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to click the start button. And then just select apply and OK to save the change for that. Once you're done with that, you want to now locate the function discovery resource publication. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Not too far. So again, function discovery resource publication. Double click on that. Startup type, you want to go ahead and set that to automatic. And then select apply and OK to save the change. And select start the service over here on the left side as well, just for good measure. Once you're done with that, you want to now locate the SSDP discovery. So scroll down a little bit. Go ahead and double click on that. Start up type, set that to automatic, select apply and OK. And if the service is stopped, you want to click the start button if it's not. So it says stop the service, that means it's already running. But if there's an option to start the service over here where I'm circling my cursor, you'd want to select start. So pretty straightforward about how to do that one as well. And finally, we have one more service we have to turn on, and that'll be the UPnP device host. So I'm going to scroll down, not too far again. So again, UPnP device host, double click on that. Startup type, automatic, you want to start the service and then select apply and OK. So then hopefully at this point you should be good to go. I would advise you to restart your computer and hopefully that should be about it. So again, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.